Hey guys, what's going on? Eric Watson here, PC editor for Leviathan.com, blogger on Game Informer, player of games, live streamer currently of Tomb Raider. Music brought to you by Ronnie LaCour, friend of mine, Nocturne. Find his stuff on Bandcamp. This one called Only the Essentials. Thank you, Ronnie. So we are back with some more Tomb Raider, and uh, we're finally going to get this puppy done. This has been my very first 100% live streamed game. I have not played a second of this game without live streaming it. I have live streamed games before, obviously, been doing it for months. Uh, and e but even when I live stream a lot of a game, I usually only do about half of it and then save the other half for uh, just off screen stuff. Um, so, yeah, this has been an experiment. A uh, good motivator to just play the game, get it done. And I uh, figured it'd be a fun one to live stream. So playing it about two weeks now, just crossing the uh, 15 hour mark, and we are approaching the monastery for the end game. We need to come up with uh, kill the soul that's trapped in the decaying queen body that's keeping storms and shit here. I don't know. The plot is very like lost, kind of, where there's an island and there's some weird shit going down. <laughs> Except uh, Laura Croft is more like Batman. She gets fucking everything done. So, let's jump back in and see what we can do with this. Going back into the monastery. So we were here once before about halfway through the game. And uh, there's some weird shit in here. There's like some giant stone samurai guys and rituals and shit going on. Uh, meanwhile, the jerk asshole, which all the all their little characters are such stereotypes. <laughs> um, all their the boat crew and the survivors, but uh, just call him jerk asshole. Uh, kidnapped the one young woman whose job is primarily to get kidnapped in this game, <laughs> despite having an awesome female protagonist. We still have to have our damsel in distress trope. Sam, Sam that's the one. <laughs> That's the asshole. Damn you, Whitman. Who are these? The storm god. People. They guard the monastery. They wait only to be introduced to their new queen by the one who brought her back to us. <laughs> of course. Of course. I've encountered these archaic tribes before. Let's get some awards, James. <sighs> so these are like giant stone samurai guys. My name is Dr. James Whitman. I come to you in peace. I bring you your new queen. Oh, no. He's gonna get stabbed. Your queen. What is it, Japanese? Uh, your... Joe. My no! 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 Thirteen ways to get across things. Look at that bow. It finally gets an awesome like Turok bow. They just got that too. Told you. Laura's got all kinds of options when it comes to traversing things. She's got everything but like a foldable hang glider, essentially. Pretty old. Let's 
It's a lot of dudes. I didn't think this would be completely without incident, so. Fire arrows! I would not have been shocked if I had been given like ice arrows and shit too. <laughs> given the ways. the way the game likes to just completely borrow from other game elements. It's like a checklist. Alright, we gotta do Zelda shit, we gotta do Batman shit. <laughs> Those guys are loud. Those guys just keep coming. What the hell? There's like a fucking army of them. I thought there was like half a dozen. Well, that's pretty fucking creepy. They make not sounds that I would think Undead Samurai would make. Oh, I gotta walk across, don't I? That's just fucking mean. Oh, that was some bullshit right here. How do those top guys not see me? <laughs> what? <laughs> Nobody noticed me. Fuck's going on down there? supernatural real quick before they were just kind of hinting at stuff. Inhuman roars! <laughs> Those are the worst kind of roars. Shazbot. Apparently I'm in control now. <laughs> Fuck all those sound effects. It's not actually there. <laughs> I paid no attention to the hands that were scurrying across the railing there. Shotgun ammo, that's just what I need after not having to use my weapon at all. Oh, shiz. Stealth action, now I just have to fight them in a confined Your undead powers are no match for my salvaged together shotgun. Kill all rats with napalm arrows. That's the kind of person Laura's become. Maybe there aren't any collectibles in this area. Oh. There's no shelter at all. Why would there be a campsite here? 
prayer I found on that general talked about a soul in a decaying body being the cause of the storms. I know he must be talking about the last Sun Queen, but I don't understand what Himiko has to do with this. She was the first queen. Somehow Matthias thinks Sam's connected, and that can't be good. Damn you, Whitman, you'll do anything for a story. <laughs> I know the answer. This picture of Laura's ass. I don't see where equipment would go. The storm guard are devoted to guarding it. I know I have to do this, but I'm so scared of what I'm going to find in there. Probably more fucking undead samurai guys and some mummy thing. How am I only 9 out of 10 on those? This is like the fucking end game. Which I imagine is pretty much linear here on out. How the hell did that door stay closed? Oh boy, I fixed camera. Just jump off and make this easier for all of us. <laughs> I'm going this way. Sliding again, yep. Ah, uh, it's the most linear path ever. I had a feeling this is how they would do the finale. Some cool action, crazy set pieces, the expensive, no more exploration. This wind effect is pretty cool though, they used this a lot in the, we were here in the monastery before. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Always holding her abdomen. Great. These poor bastards have had nothing to do for centuries. Oh, really? We're just gonna go straight up battlefield Tomb Raider. It's fantastic. Assholes. You can do your oorahs all night long. Right, what the hell do I do with this? Oh. Too late, suck jobs. I'm getting schmancy. Oh no. They're throwing pillars at me. This. He's just a fucking animal. Oops, Daisy. Dodge counters. Dodge counters. Damn, I guess I have to do it. Twice to get it to come off. <laughs> they just retreat all the way down the stairs. That's a hilarious animation. Oh, don't do that. I was gonna blow that thing up. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, that 
might have been painful. Wow, I think I literally just got the machine gun and shotgun achievements back to back. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I'm just trying to loot the dead. He's up. This is insane. This giant battlefield in the middle of this monastery. Why would this be here? Ammo boxes lying around because of video games. Damn it. Oh, shiz. Damn. I thought I was doing good at it. Come on. I don't know how that's a finisher. It's just like blazing. Ton of ammo and a ton of exploding crates. <laughs> yeah, I forgot I even had grenades. Oh dear. I knew there was somebody up there. Damn it. Come here, asshole. Did you not rope arrow these guys? Yield grenade today. That would be funny. Arrow in the face. Just 
Dodge counters are the best. Also, flaming shotgun shells. <laughs> Laura is just so ridiculously powerful. What's happening? The wind, she's so mighty. Alright, so that was kind of insane. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and call it that as soon as I open this up, big guy's gonna come through. He's the boss battle. still somewhere. Yep. He's just a giant club. It's gonna be a cutscene battle. Oh, he was slain by the elements. <laughs> but she gets right back up. Thank you, island gods. None of y'all were as good as Lara. None is. So full of ammo. one gonna be proof rules what double bangs in twelve more shotgun why not we like our shotgun not quite a hundred percent but damn close considering I didn't really try for hundred percent but I think I'm something at like eighty or ninety we never never had a chance they were waiting for us Hundreds of them. We never even made it to the sacred chamber. From the beginning, we were doomed. Eat them? That's pretty weird. That's a lot of dead things. I'll need to slip away as soon as ritual is completed. As unfortunate as it may be, she can't make it. So their audio diaries haven't been the most compelling, and uh, plus they just put them on screen like that. I just read them. Don't really usually listen to the end of them. Let's just do the same thing. That one opens. Yeah, that's pretty. <laughs> she's got a monkey when she's doing that, just crouched over it. Could they have visited this island I mean there's no way in hell you're still looking at artifacts and shit when you're in the middle of this crazy shit happening right now. You just killed a bunch of samurai warriors. Get the sarlacc pit out of there. Not sure what that does, but we'll find out. Huh, 
some shrine map. Alright, so I guess this is an area. I don't understand what doing all that dud though. Uh, oh, I see. It's a rope thing. I know how to deal with rope things. That's one of like three different puzzle types. Need to get up there somehow. Uh huh. Um. Jump up there. Close it and then lower it. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to do after that. Once you're on there. jump off to raise it again. Can't swing it while I'm down here. anymore. Get it to keep swinging. And maybe jump on it as it's swinging. I can make this jump. the new queen. 
Wait a minute. Many have given up their souls willingly for this gift. Now the first and last queen lives a half-life. A soul in a decaying body. Vessels. It's not transferring power. It's transferring a soul. All these queens, they're all... You, Himiko. First and last. Oh, God. And now you want Sam. Well, you're not getting her. The last one killed herself. <laughs> Sam, a vessel for the Queen's soul. I've got to stop this madness. This is Yamatai. I have no choice now but to meet my fate. Tonight, I climb the stairs to the Chamber of the Sun. But I will never submit to the ritual. I will not emerge queen. None will ever believe what I now know to be the truth. A twisted evil beyond imagining lives within the Sun Queen. She killed herself. Yeah, I just assumed that's what they knew it was happening, actually. The whole, like, old soul vessel that she was just transferring her soul into new bodies. So it's always the same Sun Queen, just needs a new body. So terribly evil. I don't know why they think that completing the ritual will make the storm stop. Like, why am I still needing salvage at this point? There are gonna be how much more of the game is left? <laughs> okay, there we go. Point of no return. <laughs> I was just thinking that this is literally the last camp that you can fast travel on. <laughs> I've seen similar artifacts on the Ban Giant site in Thailand. Well. So let's look at our stats real quick going into it. We are 83% on documents, 92% on relics, 88% with the gear, and 92% skills. So pretty goddamn close. I probably wouldn't have to take that much more time to go back and actually get 100%. Uh, I probably still won't, <laughs> just for the sake of this. Play through, just want to do as is. And I think the ones that I skipped were ones that would have been a slightly more pain in the ass to go and get. Uh, and would have taken me probably another session to just run around and grab shit, which didn't necessarily feel like doing. But I'm pleased with uh, the progress I've made. And it is easy, even with all the collectibles and stuff. It was overwhelming at first, but man, it's actually not too hard to get in with all the treasure maps and GPS things they give you. Let's do it. Let's beat this game. I'm a little upset when I didn't get her last uh, journal. End game time. The Chasm Ziggurat. Boy. All kinds of crazy. It's so windy. <laughs> <laughs> you trust her. Everything I've done, I did to survive. How many lives have you taken to do the same? There are no heroes here. <laughs> Only survivors. And twisted villains. Himiko's dangerous, Matthias. She's angry, she's vengeful, and she has real power. You. A mere mortal for a queen? A good trade for our freedom, I'd say. <laughs> Progress 
slightly blocked. Climbable wall everywhere. is coming apart. I do feel like they've used this a lot too, like a half-destroyed thing that falls apart on you. Granted, it's always been pretty cool also. Absolutely insane. Wait, hey, where the hell are you going? Down? Oh, shit. I don't understand. Oh. The best of your there's a camp. Still don't get her final journal? Does that ever not happen then? Maybe at the very end of the game. Same goddamn place. I do 
do some cool stuff with the camera, though. Really make you feel it. Sheer force of wind. There's no friggin' way. Say right to the. Oh god, the camera. It's a bit crazy thing to play in 3D right here. Every unnecessary piece is falling apart around me. Finding cover. I'm sorry, I was trying to get to her. <laughs> also, I cannot move worth crap. My whole game is slowed down. Oh, jeez. 
multiple of these assholes. But Lara, there's just one pedestal there. It's like Mario. <laughs> Two shots with a shotgun. That's all you. Now I'm angry. Also, I've summoned brethren. Available. Quick, go back to the camp and upgrade your weapons. There's time. Well, do something. I don't know what, but something.
first time she wields dual guns. Well, now what? spiritually violent. She's got Sam. She did it. The storms are gone. I think she's going to be okay. What happened up there? I don't know, it's usual it's Ghostbuster okay. shit. <laughs> Supernatural mysteries. <laughs> Need anything? Mm. Don't really know what happened to you on that island. Judging from those wounds and that look in your eyes, I guess I don't want to know. Just <laughs> a lot of scarring. We'll be home soon. <laughs> John Voight was right about so much. <laughs> well, that's the ending, I'm not going home. I am a fucking thrill seeker now. Ah, sir. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I got that. The achievement popped saying that, so yeah. Survivor's born. Hooray! <sighs> wow, it's a heartfelt message. We have worked our hardest to bring you the best game we could possibly make. Well, now I don't want to be critical. <laughs> oh, jeez, now we're going to have pictures? Um, so, yeah, Tomb Raider. I, I enjoyed that experience. That was fun. Uh, that was much more action-packed than I was expecting. I expected... Uh, and like I said, I haven't really played a whole lot of... Tomb Raider games in the past. Certainly never finished one, except for that Guardian of Light one, which was a lot different from the classic series. I expected more puzzly, I guess. And, uh, 
dungeon crawling, you know, kind of except with tombs. Uh, instead, I got a basically Batman on an island, which is a pretty cool concept. Although they kind of lose you with the whole like, uh, why is everyone wearing mustaches? <laughs> Uh, just they're trying to make the dichotomy between uh, Lara being, you know, her first time out, so she's learning how to do all these survival skills and hunting with a bow and killing animals for the first time. Like I need food, like all that in the early game, and then by like an hour or two later, uh, just mowing down dudes left and right. You know, she gets her first kill and she's like vomiting, and then after that she's just killed like a dozen people, and it really pushes a lot of like Call of Duty stuff with it. I feel which. Uh, I mean, it, it works okay. Um, they don't have a whole lot of guns. You know, the ones they do have are all kind of standard and fun. Uh, the action's pretty cool. Uh, I like all the different... Like the bow, I mean, just any game you can build a bow is pretty badass, for sure. Uh, it was pretty funny when I actually got fire arrows. I was like, that's very Zelda-ish of them. <laughs> um, so I guess I wish that it had more intricate puzzle design. Instead of I and I, I'll say I was very disappointed in the optional tombs. I felt like those were super dumb, and they made them super obvious where they were. They would like ring fucking bells, and, like have arrows pointing to them, and it was just one room with one single like physics puzzle there, and that was it. I was hoping that you know maybe do half as many of those, but make them like multiple room little mini Zelda dungeons. I think that would have been pretty spiffy. Um, writing wise was fine. It wasn't great, but you know certainly passable for what it was, which is kind of this almost summer blockbuster style action movie with maybe a bit more almost gratuitous torture porn-esque things with the amount of crap Laura has to go through. And I feel like the camera does linger on her quite a bit. Not in a sexual way, but just in a voyeuristic way, I guess. Just it's so close on her, but I always felt like I was being forced to leer at her rather than um, which I think what's what they're wanting to go for is uh, like to empathize with her and just like to be see things from her point of view. The problem is it's such third person; it's so like right there. Um, I don't know; it's just kind of a weird thing. Um, number of non-optional tombs. Yeah, I don't even know what's considered tombs in this game because it's kind of hard to as you just count like inner cave areas as their own thing. Uh, level design I thought was really spiffy despite it being fairly linear I felt like it was a good size, a good length and I think they had a good mix between uh, open areas that you could explore a lot of and uh, kind of action set pieces that you know you weren't exploring at all but really cool shit was happening around you like she was going through like a river or a raging river and somehow <laughs> magically pulling out her shotgun and like fucking shooting the barricades out of her way and all that kind of bullshit. That stuff kind of takes me out of it just because I feel like they're, they're, they're just one of both ways. They're trying to do, uh, you know, this serious story and this coming of age uh, tale and a lot of kind of realistic stuff with a little bit of supernatural in there, just enough to make it cool, very much like Lost. And then on the other hand, they're just doing all this over the top crazy action Michael Bay sequences. They're just realistic at all. And they're trying to do both of them side by side. And it's weird. I don't know if that works entirely well, so the tone is kind of all over the place with that. Um, story, I thought was also okay. It wasn't thrilling. Uh, I mean, it ended up, there wasn't a whole lot of twists or anything. Like, it, all the characters were very much stereotypes. You know, the young nerd who was trying to be the hero, and obviously knew he was going to die. Uh, the, the superstitious, uh, strong guy. Uh, the uh, untrusting chick that finally reluctantly has to trust at the end, <laughs> and they even have to do the damsel in distress with the with the Sam character, and then the Whitman guy who's just the asshole who's of course going to betray them all. Like all of that is just so predictable, <laughs> just terrible. Um, but I mean, it's I'm I'll give him some credit. Like it's not bad. It's just not super great. Uh, but especially for a reboot. And especially for us starting, like for somebody like me who hasn't really played much Tomb Raider as a starting point, it's kind of fun in terms of seeing this character. Although she's, gosh, I, where do you go from here? Like she's already fucking Batman essentially. I've mentioned that a lot, but she's like the abilities she gets and the traversal mechanics, the weapons, all the things she can withstand. 
She's doing like fucking dodge counters like Batman, <laughs> except with guns. <laughs> so if this is her first story, then I assume just she just becomes godlike by the second game. Uh, but I enjoyed my time with it. Uh, certainly well worth the ten bucks that uh, I paid for it during the Steam Holiday Sale. And I think it's the perfect game for that too. Like it's not one that I would necessarily replay. Uh, I don't even think I would go back and get 100%, even though I'm crazy close to that. I'm like it fucking what was I 80 excuse me 80 to 90 percent with it so uh but yeah I still really enjoyed it um didn't necessarily like it as much as a Batman game in terms of uh just everything that happened but I think for what they went for which was some exploration some linearity a lot of action set pieces and some crazy cool moments you know, it certainly doesn't make me think. It might not be the most memorable thing, but it was it was fun. It was a fun game. And uh Yeah, this was my first uh full game to live stream also, which was interesting. I know we did a lot of uh various settings and retoolings to try and make everything run smoothly, so hopefully by the end of this, I think this very last one and then the one before the one before this one is when I it fucked up a little bit, but uh this one, I think we finally got the smoothest experience, uh, downscaling it to 720p, doing the frames per second at a normal uh, 24, and which is how we view like TV anyway. And then upping the bitrate seemed to help a lot. So, and the game still ran smoothly, which is nice. So yeah, definitely look for some more uh, live streaming in the future. Uh, I don't know what my next 100% live streamed game will be. But uh, certainly, you want to follow at uh, Rogues Adventure on Twitter and uh, keep up with the twitch.tv slash Gorbash722 live stream as I uh, frequently live stream those games if they're appropriate. Right now, playing uh, Anti Chamber. And again, usually I stream, I'll stream about like half the game or so. Like, I'll kind of try to find decent spots to stream. But uh, for the future, we'll have to see about live streaming. Uh, all games, but uh, it's a good way to get through my backlog, too. Anyway, now I'm just rambling, so these credits are still going on. I think I clocked in at a little over 15 hours. I might have hit 16 hours, which that's about what I expected the length to be. And it seems very standard nowadays, too. I think that's about like what Bioshock Infinite fell at. So for these kind of like single player adventure, action adventure shooters, that seems to be the sweet spot. I think if, a, if one of those falls way shorter than 15, that would raise some eyebrows, and I think if it goes much longer, then everybody would be going, whoa, this is a long game. <laughs> Thank you to our official Tomb Raider fan sites. And I think Tomb Raider ended up doing pretty good for them at the end. I know, uh... There's a lot of talk going around how it was not made its money back and then was profitable and all this weird shit, so... certainly seemed like a very, uh... uh high-budget game with all the crazy shit that happens. I mean, there's a lot going on. That's a lot of Tomb Raider fan sites. patience for it. Alright guys, well, thank you for sticking with it, uh, and this will definitely be grouped up overall game completion of 87%. Alright, that's pretty fucking high, considering I was not going for 100%. <laughs> not too bad. Definitely one of the easier games to 100%, seems like, for sure. Anyway, um, this will definitely be part of a playlist on uh, YouTube, so you can always watch the entire playthrough all the way through for whatever reason you want to do that. But definitely follow at Rogues Adventure and uh, follow me on Twitch, TV slash Gorbash722. You can follow my uh, regular Twitter channel at Rogue Watson. And you can check out all my writings on Leviathan at leviathan.com. And uh, blogging on Game Informer as well. Find me on there. It's Eric. Watson, thank you again to Ronnie for providing all this awesome intro and outro music. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.